when the first time that I found out I was an undocumented student, it was actually my freshman year here. I, I was like oblivious to the idea. I knew I was born in Mexico, but I didn't really know what that meant. I just thought that it was, you know, I was born somewhere else. I don't, it doesn't really mean a lot. I remember not taking it as well as I do now. I felt like being so confused about it and like feeling kind of like an outsider. I don't want to say ashamed, but in a way like not proud of it because I didn't know what it meant since my parents never really talked about it. But as time went on, I like wanted to accept myself and wanted to accept who I was. So I like looked into a lot of problems and like things about being undocumented. And so I informed myself and I, like right now I'm like completely like proud of who I am and not see that as an obstacle, more as something I discovered about myself. My parents have given us a life that like I can't complain about, but obviously, you know, they can't give me every single thing. And so knowing that like I have a scholarship through DACA that can help me with it is really relieving because uh, at the start of this year, I didn't know if I was going to get it. So like I was just worried about how I was going to get the money and I didn't want to put so much pressure on my parents. Like it's just frustrating knowing that I'm not doing anything bad and I'm trying to like put myself in a position where I'm proud and successful and can like prove to anyone who has doubted me that I could do it. So it just frustrates me that I've done so much to put myself in this position and like guide my brother since I'm the role model basically. So yeah, it's just frustrating. What would you say to Congress if, you know, some of them walked in here right now? That they shouldn't, like, follow societal standards. Uh, like, I feel like a lot of them listen to the media and from the stereotypes and generalizations that are put on there. They place that and mask every person they see belonging to that certain group. I would just say to open their eyes and realize that, like, students aren't here to do anything bad. They just want to, like, set up for success and make sure that they guide themselves in the right paths. How much this year did you think about any of the politics that were going on? I think there was like a 90 day period where they were going to open it again um, for DACA renewal and stuff. And it just got me thinking like, what if I don't make it? What if they close it earlier? Or like, what if they don't like leave it up as long as they say and then they close it and don't open it back up? Like, what am I going to do? So, yeah, it's just a worrying. Yeah, what are you going to do? That's tough because I, I kind of don't want to like look into the future and worry so much about it. I want to like enjoy what I've come to do now. Like right now I'm going to graduate high school. I'm going to be the first in my family to do it and the first to go to college. So like thinking about that gets me really happy because it shows that like I've actually taken advantage of everything my parents have gone through. And so I don't want to like overshadow that with something in the future that may or may not happen. But if the time comes, I will try to like put my best foot forward. The only thing that's keeping us like apart are basically documents. Like everything is the same. Um, a a non-documented student has the same drive as a U.S. citizen, and like that they're like all the same people. We're all human. There's nothing like bad about being born in another place. It doesn't stop the kind of strive you put on yourself, the kind of success that you want, the kind of like hard work that you're gonna have to go through. I'm not ashamed of being a dreamer. I think it's just something that puts me aside of everyone else. And it's not a negative thing, it's like actually, although some people might say that it's an obstacle more than something you should praise, I feel like it was an obstacle that pushed me to like, like better myself and actually try hard in school. Like it makes me the person who I am because I tend to like really like push people and like not let themselves put themselves on failure um, and so I really like that about myself because I don't want myself to fail and I don't want the next person besides me to fail like I don't know I just feel like it makes me who I am.